I have written several books with a, a surgeon who worked with leprosy patients, Dr. Paul Brand. And so I visited a lot of leprosy hospitals. I remember so clearly one I visited in uh, Nepal. I think it's called Green Pastures Hospital. When I was given a tour of the hospital by the doctor, my wife was with me, and we looked across a courtyard and there was a woman sitting there who was probably the ugliest human being I've ever seen in my life. She had no, no toes, her feet were all bandaged up. She had no fingers on her hands, they were, they were just nubs. Her, she had been blind for years, her eyes were covered with scales and her nose had shrunk away so that when you look at her, you look directly into her head. This was, this was not an attractive sight. And I thought, well, she's, she's probably a beggar and we went ahead and did the rest of the tour of the hospital. When we came back, she had made her way all the way across the courtyard. I saw how she moved. She's unable to walk. So she would plant her elbows down and then drag her body like an animal. And she had made it all the way across the courtyard and come up to the sidewalk where we were walking. Well, I reached into my pocket. I thought, oh, she's a beggar. She probably wants some money. My wife had a much more, I'd say, holy response than I did. She used to work with the down and out in Chicago, the homeless people like that. And instead of giving her money, she went and put her arm around her. And I, I will always keep this photo I have, the two of them, my beautiful wife and her new Nepali outfit in this very ugly woman. And she heard the woman start singing. She didn't know Nepali, of course, so she didn't know the words, but she didn't need to. She recognized the tune in English. It's, Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. And the doctor went on to describe, oh, that's Don Maya. And she's one of our most faithful Christians. She's the, she's the one who greets you at the door if you come to chapel. And if you have a problem, you need somebody to pray with you, Don Maya's the one. I realized how quickly I had judged, misjudged, Don Maya and uh, how much I needed to learn from my wife who had that instinctive response of looking past the physical appearance which was which was very off-putting and instead see the beauty of the human being underneath and that human being had become a repository for the Spirit of God.